awesome. So again, welcome to Flow and Grow Yoga. Flow and Grow is different in that we're going to be practicing a few aspects of yoga. Many traditional classes just focus on breath and movement to the body, but we'll also be doing a community element at the end, using our breath and movement to open up and learn more about ourselves as well as each other. So I'm excited for today's session. As a reminder for our three community agreements is to take up space. Shout out to my friend Steph, who's actually on here today. She always reminds me to take up space. So that just means make this your practice make it your own. If I tell you to do something and you don't want to do it, don't do it. The second is commit to growth. So lean into discomfort, but always back away from pain because pain does not serve us. And lastly, speak from the heart. So in that community element, maybe speaking from your heart means journaling or talking to yourself out loud, or maybe it means speaking out loud together in community. Whatever that is for you, make sure it's from the heart. So we'll take about 40 to 45 minutes moving through our bodies with breaths and these poses. And then the last bit will come together in community to actually talk about that first community agreement. Today's theme is taking up space, giving yourself permission to expand. So <laughs> I'm so happy to see your faces. Go ahead and get onto your floor or on a mat into a seated position. I'll position myself here. That seated position can be cross-legged or just get it on top of your heels, whatever feels comfortable. And just gently close your eyes. And start that structure of letting go of what your day was. Doesn't matter if it was the best day ever. Just come to this present moment, focusing on your breath. So begin to take notice of your inhales and your exhales. Maybe you're not taking up enough space. So just keep that in your mind and start to take even deeper, more nourishing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. We'll begin today's class together as we always do with three deep breaths together in unity. So if you're comfortable, bring your hands to your heart center, either in prayer position or just flat on your heart. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and exhale out. This time, make it even deeper in through the nose. And exhale out to the mouth. Make this your deepest one yet in through the nose and out through the mouth. From here, place your right foot on the ground, knee bent. Maybe that's out in front of you or out to the side, whatever feels good. And place your right hand back behind you. Bend your left arm and place your elbow on your right leg. And begin to use your body and your breath to turn your body, twist to the right side or even back behind you. If you're like me, you heard some snaps and crackles. <laughs> Don't judge yourself, just feel it in the body and let this be nourishing. With every inhale, see if you can take up even more space. Maybe that means sitting up taller or twisting a little bit deeper. On your next exhale, slowly Begin to twist back to the center. And we'll do that on the other side. Take a second to shake it out if you need to. <laughs> and then place your left foot out in front of you or to the side. And we'll do the same on the other side. So bring that left arm back behind you. Bend your right arm and place your elbow onto your left leg. 
always say this, but different side, different vibe. You might find that you're even more flexible on this side or less. No judgment, just take notice. And on your next exhale, slowly begin to bring back the center. If your right foot was flat and horizontal like this, leave it there. And then gently begin to pick up your left foot and place it right on top of the right. This is called fire log position. So imagine you have your feet as fire logs if you've ever lit a fire. <laughs> I haven't. So the sole of your foot is on top of your knee, knee on top of foot. You may notice a gap or space between your knee and your foot. Maybe take that left arm and gently, emphasis on the gently, press on that knee to get a deeper stretch in the hip area. Remembering that the hips are where we store emotion. And we've had a whole lot of emotions <laughs> over the last year or even more. So just be gentle with yourself and remember to take it easy if you feel any pain. And on your next exhale, slowly bring your legs out of that position. You might even feel it a little bit and want to take some shakes, some windshield wipers with the legs to get some movement back in. And we'll switch to the other side when you're ready. This time, the left leg will be on the floor, horizontal or perpendicular. Lift that right leg and place it right on top. Make any adjustments to get this comfortable in your body. You don't have to do what you did on the other side of it if you want to. Take that right hand and gently press down on the knee. On your next exhale, bring your knees out of that position. And I know I definitely need to windshield wiper from that side. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do some of those, taking both knees from left to right. And then come onto your hands and your knees. We'll move into child's pose position. Bring your big toes to touch in the back of your mat and bring your knees as wide or as close together as you'd like. Slowly sink your hips back towards your heels and bring your arms out long in front of you. And bring your forehead to rest onto the earth or the mat.
and take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe your intention was to show up and you already did that. Sometimes that's the hardest part. If that's the case, just commit to showing up throughout the practice. Puppy pose, gently lift your hips up off of your heels so they're right above your knees. And from here, begin to walk your hands out in front of you so that your chest begins to come down to the ground. Your hips are raised up to the sky. Maybe your nose touches the earth or your forehead or your chest. Wherever you are, you'll begin to feel a stretch in your arms, your shoulders. Lift your head or your nose or chest up off the earth and slowly bring your arms back closer to your legs to where you're in tabletop position. And we'll do some cat cows, get into our entire body. On your inhale, you'll drop your belly, lift your hips up to the sky and your gaze to the sky. And on your exhale, bring your chin to your chest. And keep repeating that on your own breath. Inhale, lift your chest to the sky. And exhale, drop your chin to your chest. And keep doing those. Or if you'd like to do some hip circles, never give your hips enough love, especially with all this sitting we be doing these days. two more on your own. And then come back to a tabletop position on your hands and your knees. Lift your right leg up off the ground and flex your toes back behind you. Stay here or for a little more, begin to lift your left hand up off the ground. And then bring that arm back behind you and touch anywhere on your right leg. 
and release back down to the ground. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Lift your left leg up off of the ground. Toes are flexed. Stay here or lift your right arm up and come behind you to touch anywhere on your left leg. Okay, if you shake or fall out, no worries, get back up or you can stay there too and release back down to the earth. Step your right foot forward for lunge position. So you're on your left knee, pressed up onto your right. If you have any knee problems, as I sometimes do, feel free to roll something up and put it beneath your left knee. If not, no worries, let's come together and inhale our arms up overhead. And then bring your arms in prayer position down to your heart. And slowly begin to rotate your body over to the right. Stay here or extend your arms out to the side, taking up space. Beautiful. And come back to center. And we'll switch out our legs doing the same thing on the other side. So bring your left leg out in front of you and you're on your right knee. Inhale your arms up overhead. Bring your arms to a prayer position. This time you're going to rotate to the left. And take up more space as if you're giving that left side a big hug. And come back to center. Beautiful. Press up onto your legs so that your feet are wide out in front of you. Gonna get a little bit more hip action. Told you, never enough hips. <laughs> so we'll move to goddess position. Your toes are slightly out to the side, heels are slightly in. We'll come down into a bit of a squat, not too deep. Perfect, Beth. And raise your arms up overhead. Beautiful. Now place your arms, the palms onto your knees, and then drop your right shoulder down, turning to the left for a goddess twist. You can even use your palms to push your knees out further for a deeper stretch. And then drop your left shoulder, turning to the right. And do that one more time on each side. Drop your right shoulder and look to the left. And drop your right, your left shoulder and look to the right. Look at that, I don't know my size. <laughs> Beautiful, and stand up and shake it out. You can even do a little booty shake, whatever you wanna do, twerk a little something. <laughs> Get your practice in and we'll do a standing wide-legged forward fold. So just, your toes are slightly in again, and you'll just begin to fold down towards the ground. You can have your hands on your hips, and as you come all the way down, bring your hands onto the floor. And this is a pose that I always adjust along the way, so you do the same. Maybe you want your legs to be even wider or come closer together. Losing track of time as our feelings touch. We fall deep into the bed. We become the threads intertwined. 
On your next inhale, press up slightly, almost as if you're coming up halfway. And then as you exhale, fold even deeper. See if you can take up even more space. Got her beautiful sky behind her. Inspiration right now. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm outside too. From here, any way you'd like, come into a plank position. So for a plank position, you're up onto your toes and the palms of your hands. Maintaining a flat back as much as you can and engaging your core. Take a deep breath in and then come all the way down onto your belly. And exhale that out. It doesn't matter how long I hold a plank for, I always feel like, oh, glad to get out of that. <laughs> so as you're down on your belly, bring your arms, your forearms out in front of you. If you're making the number 11. This is called sphinx pose. A mini back bend. Make sure you're letting go of any tension in your shoulders or your neck. Just keeping a neutral spine as much as you can. Why don't you just let go and quiet down your ego? Don't complain about finance. I know your daddy weren't a real man. Go ahead and live your dreams. To me, you're stronger than a whole team. I know you can't relax. And you don't want me to know that. And slowly bring yourself all the way down onto your mat and make a pillow with your forearms instead this time. And then place your left cheek onto your forearm. Even when you think I'm angry, it's true it might take a while. But it's between you and me. And slowly bend your right knee and bring it as close as possible next to your hip. So it's possible without horizontally to get a stretch in your inner thigh. It's called Spider-Man pose. I said I'll make some changes and you said you do the same thing and I don't want to fight my king I held you when you was weak you caught me on my knees don't pressure me for some kids And I won't pressure you for marriage I know it's never the right time But we gotta do things on our time Sometimes I still doubt myself But at least now I love myself And I am quite emotional That's why you can't get close at all So I start to push away the ones that love me cause I'm scared that they might walk away I'm not perfect, 
So I try every day and I grow a little bit. Lead a little more so I can educate my kids. Eat from my soul and cleanse my spirit. Pray cause I'm ready for the bloom of the city. Some serenity is all that I need. And then bring your leg back behind you. And bring the gaze to the left side of your mat. The right cheek is placed on your forearm. And we'll do the same thing this time with the left leg. So bring your left leg bent out to the side, as horizontal as you can, with your knees in line with your hips. Bring your leg back behind you. And press up to where you're in the seated position again. This time for butterfly pose. To so bring the soles of your feet to touch. And bring them in as close as you'd like to your body. Just remembering the closer your legs are to your body, likely the higher up your knees may go. Whatever feels good. You can either stay up straight or use your arms to press down and come out long in front of you. I know what's best for my body, so I'm going to sit up straight today. <laughs> but whatever you want, go and do that. is often the place where I end up telling myself, girl, you need a pedicure or you need a foot massage. So maybe give yourself some extra self-care and rub your feet while you're here. With every inhale and exhale, continue to drop any tension that you're holding in your body, in your hips, and knees, and allow yourself to open up even deeper. And bring your left leg out long in front of you. We're going to move to cradle the baby. So with your right leg still bent, pretend as if your right leg is a baby and use your legs to scoop underneath that baby and bring your leg close to your body. And just like if it was a baby, feel free to rock back and forth. 
getting even deeper into your muscles here. Lower your leg back down to the ground and switch out to cradle your baby on the left side. So bring your right leg out in front of you, bend your left leg and use your arms to cradle underneath your left. Bring your left leg back down to the ground. And then spread your legs out wide. For seated, wide-legged forward fold. While you're here, just scoop out your butt cheeks underneath you so that you're really getting a chance to get deep into the stretch. And then inhale your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, slowly begin to hinge at the hips. Coming closer down to the ground until you feel whatever your deepest stretch is in the body. You can stay here with your hands at the center, or if you'd like, reach for your toes or your ankles. On your next inhale, bring your feet back to the center. And also shake out your legs here because that was a really deep stretch. And when you're ready, come down onto your back. And bring your knees into your chest. And wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a tight hug. And while you're here, give yourself a compliment. We don't do that enough. to a T position and then drop your knees over to the right side of your body for supine twist. Check in on your left shoulder and make sure you drop that to the earth and then turn your gaze to the left side of your mat. So it's a full body twist.
turn your neck back to the center and without using your hands, bring your knees back to the center. So engage in your core a little bit. And then drop your knees over to the left side of the mat. And turn your neck to the right. Bring your neck back to the center. And again, without using your hands, bring your knees back to the center. And take whatever movement feels good in your body for this final pose before our deep breath. Maybe bring your legs up overhead or move into happy baby position. So for happy baby, you'll grab the outside of the soles of your feet and bring your knees into your body, almost as if they're right into your armpit. Maybe you've seen a happy baby do this before, but that baby often moves back and forth and wiggles around, getting deep into your body. So feel free to do the same here. And then let that go and bring your legs out long in front of you. Bring your arms to the side of your body or on top of your stomach or your chest. Whatever feels natural. And let go of any tension you're holding in your ankles, your wrists. even your jaw, your mouth, allowing yourself to come into full relaxation. Take a deep breath in, exhale it all out. Savasana.
you see yourself clearly with eyes full of love and acceptance, you hold space for others to meet you at your highest self. Carly Ryan. Begin to take movement in your body, almost as if you just woke up from a nice long nap. So bring your arms up, wiggle your toes. And then press yourself up into a seated position with your eyes closed if that feels comfortable. And we'll end this part of our practice the same way we began, with taking three unifying breaths together. Bring your hands to your heart center and take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Another deep breath in and out. And for your deepest one yet, deep breath in and out through the mouth. Awesome. I'm going to stop recording so it's just us.